developments tonight on the battle between two humane societies. The San Diego Humane Society says it is not backing down until it gets verifiable proof of the well being of around 250 rabbits, guinea pigs and hamsters. It transferred to our local Humane Society last month. News for Tucson's Chorus Nylander broke the story and is live from our Humane Society's main office on the west side. Chorus, what is the latest on this? Well, Monica, tonight the president of the San Diego Humane Society isn't holding back, responding to the Humane Society of Southern Arizona's response to their legal demand letter that was sent last week. And it, our Humane Society here is accusing them of creating a media fiasco. They are accusing our Humane Society of withholding the truth. What began as a celebrated first of its kind transfer of pets from the San Diego Humane Society to the Humane Society of Southern Arizona has become historic for all the wrong reasons. This is really unprecedented. One shelter, I'm almost in the history of animal sheltering, has not had to take legal action against another one. This just doesn't happen. Dr. Gary Weitzman, president of the San Diego Humane Society, says they are looking at all options after receiving this legal response from HSSA this week. That ranges from everything but continue continuing to press them just for information to going to court to, uh, litigating this. Through a Tucson law firm, HSSA accused San Diego Humane Society of creating a media fiasco and spreading falsehoods, claiming no responsibility to prove where the animals went. It's not, it's not a respectful response in any way, shape, or form. Really, they should be partnering with us. They should be as desperate to provide us the information as we are to get it, and they're not. The transfer of 318 small pets like rabbits and hamsters happened August 7th after facing questions from animal advocates and rescues. HSSA CEO Steve Farley said 250 of the pets were rehomed quickly by one small private rescue in Phoenix. HSSA brought 62 of them that weren't rehomed back to Tucson. Those remaining pets have almost all been adopted out. Farley has maintained his story through the backlash. I can't control how people react to things. All I, all I can do is I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the truth. We demand answers. Animal advocates have since held protests in Tucson, formed petitions with over 16,000 signatures. HSSA finished its legal response, saying it expects this to be the last time it hears from SDHS about this issue. Dr. Weitzman, though, says this is far from over. No matter what, we're not letting this drop. And the San Diego Humane Society tells me they have hired a private investigator to search for answers and all this. And it seems the longer this situation goes on, just more and more questions continue to be raised. We're going to stay on top of this as it's surely not the end of it. We're live from the west side tonight. Chorus Snylander, News 4 Tucson.